Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Commander Scorbius, and today I'm going to show you how to do green screen work for free with HitFilm Express. Green screen is the stuff of legend, right? The magic which lets you put actors into a scene without them actually being there. Sounds expensive. Well, it's not magic, and it's not expensive. For most of my videos, I use Adobe After Effects, which isn't free, but you can achieve great results without spending anything using HitFilm Express, which is free. But how I hear you say? Well, watch closely, because I'm going to show you. You need two things. Three, if you include HitFilm Express. Go get it, it's free, and then you can follow along. See the link in the description. So the first thing you need, well, we need to make our project. 1080p project at 30 frames a second. Yours can be whatever you want. So, first of all, a piece of video for the background. This is your background plate. It's the video for the scene. So for this example, I'll be using a nice hanger shot that I recorded in Elite Dangerous for my channel trailer video. Here we go, let's just drop it on here. Now it's not quite right, so I'm gonna scrub along and find the bit that's nice and stable there. Is that, is that nice and stable? There we go, right, there we go. And I'm just gonna split it. So, slice, it's called slice. It's called different things in different programs. And I'll just drag that over to there, to the front. It sna snaps nice and easily to the, to the front. Okay, so as you can see, if I would just play back, so notice that it's fairly static, so we don't have to worry about any tracking, but it's got a little bit of stuff going on to give it some life. Just stop that. Bring it back to that. And the second part is our subject green screen footage. Now, in this example, I've got some here. Let's drop that on above. In this example, they're the same size to make this simple, but you can scale and move it around. Just be careful not to upscale it too much or it'll be a blurry and nasty mess, unless that's what you want. This footage was made using iClone. It's some CGI animation and it has a pure green background. So it should be the simplest example you can get in terms of green screen purity. So we drop both videos into the comp, making sure that the green screen footage is on the top. Now right click in here, on the green screen footage in the timeline and click new effect. In there, you'll find a category of effects called keying. Now this isn't something a sociopath does to your car. It's a suite of effects which take the basic color and do things with it. In this case, we wanna select color difference key. This lets you do chroma keying, which is movie speak for get rid of that green crap. There we go. You can see immediately the green has gone. Now, before we wrap this all up and call it a love story, we need to check the map to see if it's accidentally including parts of the characters we don't want to and make sure all the background has gone away. And to do that, we expand this out and we go to view mat. As we can see, there's a little bit of darkness on Jane's face there. It's not too big of a problem when we look at it, but we might not have noticed it. That's caused by some light from this screen. So ideally, you want to try and fix that. You can fix it by adjusting these min and max values here. I'll go into this a little bit more detail in a minute because I want to show you something else. But you've got to balance the whole scene. So over here we've got this SRV. It looks quite nice. And if I start meddling with these min and maxes, because there is actually some gradient, there's some areas of green here because it's faded into the background, um, it, it actually messes up. So this looks okay. This look, actually looks okay. So we'll scrub through. This actually looks okay. It's not too bad. In fact, that's actually looking quite nice. So that's without changing anything. So I just gave it the color difference key effect and that's it, it's, that's done. It is a good idea to scrub through the footage and see if you've always got a good mat. You might find a problem at specific points because of lighting or shadows. So you can focus on those and get them right. You can also animate these on the timeline, but we won't get into that in this video. There's no magic to getting this right. You just have to tweak things until you're happy. Now, if your footage doesn't have a pure green background, and if you've shot against a green screen with a camera, it's likely you'll need to clean it. Maybe you've got some shadows, maybe some uneven lighting. There are things you want to avoid practically wherever possible. So get that green screen lit properly and light your actors separately. But sometimes it's unavoidable and HitFilm has some tools to help you cleaning it up. I'll just drop some footage of my mate Dean. He's the guy who plays Jane in the show. It's a little green screen skit that we did a few years ago at a game jam. So I'll just drop this here. It's quite, uh, there he is with his Nerf gun. As you can see, the screen is mostly clean, but there are some shadows in the corners here. Creases on the floor. 
and the green screen's not taking up the entire shot. So the first thing we need to do is chop out anything that we don't need. Be ruthless if you can get away with it. We do this by creating a mask. To make a mask, select the layer with the footage on it and click the layer tab at the top. See here, layer tab. This isolates the layer. You've got a dedicated screen now for that layer. And on the left, you can see this fountain pen icon. This will be used to draw the mask. So what you do is you draw points around the footage by clicking it. Draw it like this, right? Now you can drag it as well to make curves if you need to. And at any point, you can add additional points by just clicking. See here, just adding a new point and you can move them around. Come on, there you go, so you can move it around. It's very powerful. Once you've done that, go back to the viewer tab. Ta -da. You should see now that the background, which wasn't the green screen, is now transparent. Now let's sort out the green screen. We right click on the footage in the timeline, select new effect, keying, color difference key, and bam, the background is mostly gone. If we look closely though, there's a bit of green glow. This is called overspill, and it has a number of causes, one of which is lighting. But thankfully, HitFilm has an effect which gets rid of it. Right-click again on the layer. Select New Effect. Keying. Now, Matte Enhancement. And down the bottom, you've got one called Spill Removal. So just like that, most of that green is gone. You can play with this stuff for hours, and I recommend that you do that. Use each of the keying options and see what they do. They each have a purpose and there's no harm with experimenting. So, here we go. Go play. Just to show you, let's move them down here. And let's play. Follow my exciting adventures of bravery, cunning, and most importantly... Muppet. What? Jane, I was just telling the viewers about the channel. See? Oh, completely removed the background using the green screen. We can hardly see anything from anywhere else as well. So use those tools, tweak it, get it the way that you want it to. And there you go, for free, green screen. Now I did say a touch on the min max and cleaning up a, a dirty green screen. So I've imported this footage that I did for my Futility Farsi video. And anybody who remembered that, there was this guy uh, holding a Etch-a-Sketch. Now, if you look at this, there's a lot of stuff going on on this video. And look, if I play this back, you can see um, it moves around and there's a little bit of motion blur as well a little bit later. So, so you can't really see too much, but if I, if I was to pause on some of these frames, you can see it's blurry. All right, so some of these got some blur. See that a little bit of blur because it's moving. So this is a challenge. So whenever you've got motion blur, you'll notice that like, if you see somebody standing in front of a green screen, they move their hands very quickly. The, you'll start to see bits of green in their hands, especially if it's a live thing. This is what we do, same thing. Go into keying, go to color difference key, and it's already done a really good job. Oh, look at this, it's already doing a great job here. Even though this is an interlaced video, but there is a little bit of, a little bit of overspill there. So again, we'll do the same thing. We'll go to keying, and we'll go to matte enhancements and spill removal. And it's mostly gone. Mostly gone. It's This is so powerful. Uh, it's not perfect. So, okay then. Let's have a look at these min-max values. Now, when you're doing your min-maxing, you basically want to be looking at the, the mat. See here. Look at this. All this background. Isn't it horrible? This stuff here is a nightmare. So, we tweak these. So that, that's going to make, that's altering the amount of white there. So you can reduce the amount of white. Now in After Effects, there's a plugin called Key Lights. Um, I think it's 1.2 that I use. And that has these values as blacks and whites. And you're adjusting the amount of blacks, the amount of whites. Uh, so for this one, you see I'm adjusting. It, it isn't as intuitive. So that now has hardly any. And this background here, if it's all gone away. If you didn't clean it out, if you didn't clean that out, then you would start seeing bits of artifacts around here. So if I set that back, oh crikey, you see there, you can see how, you can see how Dean's getting obscured now by the dirt on my green screen. So 
but it, as we adjust that but basically don't adjust it in here always use this because then you can see quite clearly if there's any any dirt on your green screen if it's a dirty mat then you're going to get a dirty plate so it, now with this like this i can go back to the beginning and play that and there's still a little bit you can tweak this more but it's not too bad that's not too bad at all so there you go so yeah a dirty green screen will mean that you get artifacts and shadows um, if you've got overspill you'll get green appearing on your object so you need to tweak that you can soften your mat you can sharpen it there's plugins to do basically anything you need so like I say have a play see what you can come up with look forward to seeing what you make I'll be making more tutorials like this so if you've enjoyed this one or found it to be useful hit the like button press subscribe and bash that notify bell then you'll see more and if you want to help the channel consider becoming a patreon there's a link in the description for that and if there's a subject you'd like an Ascorbius tutorial on, drop a comment or hit me up on Twitter at Commander Ascorbius. Link also in the description. Have fun and fly aimless.